All right, here in round two, definitely out of mulligan. Too low on lands. Another one lander, so we'll go to five. All right, two lands, I think we're just going to keep. So let's see if we can't uh, draw blue mana. That'll certainly help. All right, Gate Smasher, potentially good at some point, but need the lands first. Okay, well, not the worst spot. Got the third land, so I guess we'll drop Gate Smasher. Could drop the Dutiful Attendant, but seems... Eh, I guess it's not equally as useless. I can still technically swing with it. My problems with dropping Dutiful Attendant are... Well, I guess I shouldn't have any problems dropping it. It seems fine. Alright. Dragon Scarred Bear. If I can find a blue mana, I've got a good defense against that. There it is. Alright, so we'll drop the Elemental and then pass. This way, if he has a Pump Spell or a Removal, uh, we can play the Attendant. Maybe to get it back, but more likely we just play another elemental. Or if we draw a land, we play the, the Archfiend. Alright. So he's going to bolster on the bear to get in some pretty good damage, to be honest. So we'll take our five. Let's see if we draw another land here. Did draw the land, so we can play the Archfiend. Swing for one. Fight cards are going to hurt us quite a bit, though. My other options are... Dutiful Attendant, Chump Block with Elemental. Which isn't great. feel like just play Archfiend, get in for one pass. It's not a great play because... It Makes us really vulnerable to removal, but we're kind of in a kind of awkward position. If he doesn't have a removal for Archfiend, we're in a much better spot. Uh, maybe I, you know what? I actually think I don't attack there. I think that was wrong because I, like I, I did say correctly, there's extremely high chance that you have a removal for the Archfiend here. But I should have left the the Elemental, especially since you know, the threat and the, the combat trick. I should have just left the Elemental back. So that was that was certainly a Misplay there. It was the wrong play. All right. Well, going to attack with the attendant. Going to play our own attendant plus updraft elemental and pass. All right, lost value on our uh, attendant, but that's okay. So block there, block here. Nice thing is we're not dead. That was a good draw. Let's, uh, all right, so we swing for six, drops the DC, sack up, draft elemental. And search up. 
Um, I can do flatten, which probably is the best one. Otherwise, I can do... Um, oh, I tapped my mana wrong again. If I'd left up the blue... Yeah, it, that sucks. So I should have left up a blue, found my faithful, bounced this dude. And I think we probably just win. Now I'm in a position where I could lose to kill spell plus... Pump, which is entirely possible. All right. Well, hopefully we don't get punished for it, but yeah, that could happen. I think we're just going to get flattened because it at least deals with his guy if something squirrely happens. But yeah, actually, I just died to a... Yeah, I really screwed up there because now all he has to do is... Well, I guess he can't hump the weak, though. So there is that. We're definitely blocking the five power guy. Even he can't regen it yet anyway. Or she, I guess super mega kitty and a girl uh avatar should probably indicate to me that my opponent is in fact a girl. It's actually a pretty good draw since we get to gate smash, get in for lethal here. Wow, one on a multi five is pretty impressive, I must say. So playing against uh, green red, I think we want the self inflicted wound now. So we'll do that, especially since it deals with his uh, con or her uh, conifer strider or whatever, and it deals with the regenerating bear too. So it's kind of nice. So I guess it kind of sucks against the the two two bolster guy, but that's all right. Um. Cuts. What is the cut? Everything is so good in this deck. I think I'm cutting the Scribe. It seems like the worst card in our deck. Everything else seems better. So I'm going to cut the Scribe. Bring in the Self-Inflicted Wound. I think that's all I need. All right, we'll keep it. We've actually got a play, too, which is nice. But we're going to have to draw some lands. All right. That is, in fact, a land. So off to a good start. Glade Watcher. Not too intimidating yet. Land draws are perfectly acceptable at the moment. All right. Don't know what the morph is yet. Drowner, not bad. Tempted to not block this turn, but... All right, I'm not going to block because I'd like to drown my emissary. I'm pretty happy. Well, I guess if... Ooh, Teamer Sabretooth is a pretty good one. I guess I can just kill that now. Although I can kill that at any time. Even with the bounce effect. Yeah, I think we're going to stick to... Plant. Well, we drew a fifth land, too, which is interesting. Um, Drowner keeps back a lot of stuff, which is nice. Could leave up Flatten. But I think I'm going to play Drowner, Sack the Emissary. And I guess we'll... Well, actually, to be honest, I kind of want to Drowner first. Wow. Wow. Not terribly exciting top four. That's a good card to manifest. Certainly glad I did it in the order I did.
Ah, that's too bad. So, can activate Glade Watcher. I'll block that and take six. Looks like did not activate the Glade Watcher, so we'll just block the morph. All right, well, can't do much about that. So, play now. What is the play now? What is the play now? I can play Sadisi. I can play Summons. Summons seems too dangerous. I'm too far behind currently to get good value out of Summons. Getting no value out of Sadisi kind of sucks. But 4-6 blocker is not bad with Death Touch. I think we're just going to go Sadisi pass. I mean, a 5-mana 4-6 death touch is still pretty good. Well... I'm going to block. All right. It's either that or I take six or seven. Certainly don't want that. Um, now we're in a pretty good position to just flatten that saber tooth. Which I think we're going to do. So we'll just go... Wish I could do Updraft Elemental 2, but let's just uh, flatten this guy now. Yeah. This way, we're just saving ourselves a bunch of damage here. And then next turn, I can go, I guess, Ojutai Summons. All right, Hardcast Vault Breaker. So I'm still fine with the Summons, actually. And then the turn after that, I can go Updraft plus Gravecrawler, which is pretty good. So let's go Summons. Now we have a blocker for Vault Breaker. Oh, that's rough. Um, yeah, it's a little bit tough. I think I still chump it. Two cards left in our opponent's hand. I don't really want to take six here. Hand of Silmagar is a great draw. So now I think that we do, well, I think we do the same plan. But I value the elemental more than the monk on this board state. So, and they're not tapped either. That's pretty nice. So for that reason, I almost want to play the Hand of Silumgar, I guess, if I'm going to be... Alright, so we go Hand of Silumgar. Actually, we attack with our Flyer. Oh, wait, I can't. That's right. So, Sack the Monk. Get two Zombies and pass. So now I feel like we're in a pretty good spot. We've got the Hand of Silmagar to block the Vault Breaker if worse comes to worse. Um, 
Gravecrawler holds down this, this board pretty good. Got a couple zombies. I guess I would prefer to block with two zombies. Well, I guess that's not necessarily true. All right. Play a couple flyers. And pass. All right. Not too intimidated there. That's a great draw, so let's start our flying beats. All right, it's pretty good. I mean, the upside is we still get to kill something, but can't do it to the bear because he has formidable. So I guess we just kill the. Uh... Oh, our opponent's ball string right now. Okay, so I guess we just do it to the glade watcher. I mean, I could force him to regen this turn. Doesn't have summoning sickness, but I can still block with grave crawler. Yeah, we'll kill the glade watcher. Opponent still does not really have fantastic attacks here. That's a good draw. Keep the beats from above going. Play the monument. Pass. All right. I presume cons but could be dragons all right what's the cons so once the extra card understandably and a morph all right don't know what the morph is yet another good draw all right well i was going to attack with the silmgar monument but plans have changed Forest off the outpost siege. Whisper of the Wilds, not too intimidated there. And final unknown card is Lurking Erinx, which is actually a pretty good card, since for six, if my opponent draws another land, which is very likely, you can get rid of three of my blockers. That tells me I'm just going to leave my, yeah, I'm actually just going to leave my updraft elementals back, and we should be fine. Okay, so activate Monument. Get in with flyers. And pass. 
Stormcrag Elemental, which is a... So that's irrelevant. Other card was a land. So opponent can get rid of three blockers, which is not enough to kill us. So Lurking Arrows can force this, this, and like this or that. We still have three blockers for the rest of his stuff, so should be just fine, like I said. All we have to do is survive this turn, and our opponent is beaten. Did not use the Lurking Erinx ability, which is interesting. Maybe it's going to be uh, after Declare Attackers. Not sure why you're attacking with the Whisper of the Wilds, either. No real reason to use Vault Breaker. Alright, so using the Lurking Erinx now, it's one, two, and then Updraft Elemental or Zombie, pretty much irrelevant. Okay, so... These three block that. Zombie blocks this. We'll block this. And we'll chump the six power and take five. Although I could kill, actually. All right, got the match anyway. But I was going to go back on my blocks and double block this because it's got regen. Take out the five power, the five four. I think that's probably better. All right, got round two. Uh... Deck played really well for us. We were in top deck mode and drew remarkably well. I think we went Noxious Dragon, Silmgar Monument, Noxious Dragon, which was just excellent. Um, it's not like our opponent drew poorly, though. Our opponent drew, in those same turns, I think our opponent went Outpost Siege, Iron Shaman, Lurking Erinx, something along those lines. So, But I guess our opponent got extra draws because of these cards. But still... Played very well. Uh, opponent's deck was very good. So, uh, Flatten. Even better than I thought because it takes out Teamer Sabretooth, which is a really strong card. So, awesome. We'll uh, see you in round three.